Hello friends, welcome back to the Polymer project video tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the paper element dialog. How we can uh, create a dialog in Polymer project or uh, how we can uh, handle the events of each and every button. Okay, uh, for the events, uh, I'm gonna show you the native events, okay, which is uh, coming from the HTML uh, basic elements. We are not going to do uh, see how the polymer project uh, handles the events itself okay so first let me show you the demo which is given by the uh, polymer uh, uh, project SDK so you can understand it properly what we are going to see okay these are the different different dialogues which are available in uh, polymer okay this is the simple when I click on the plain dialog I can see only the simple uh, dialog if I click on a dialog with a heading then dialog with actions I get the more info as well as decline and accept buttons okay see the designs of both buttons are different if I click with the model dialogs the back will get disabled on a single button dialog with scrolling dialog with the action and scrolling okay the buttons will not get scroll then the animation the smooth animation for the dialogs okay but and uh, the color dialogs as well okay size and position you can also fix that size and position dialogs okay but now I have clicked on each and every buttons now again I am clicking on the button the demo is not working okay some points only some points are working but others are not working right so what we need to do Let's see the dialogue is here not working for Some points are working and some are not. Okay, but now uh, if you see the code behind in that, they have uh, created a simple template which is, is auto binding. We're gonna talk about this in my later video tutorials. Okay, so they are binding each and every element uh, which is available in template. Okay, that means uh, in template they are uh, using on a section on tab that is the dialog one, and they have written a script for this okay if you notice auto binding and if the target element is not a button okay if it is button then the next sibling element uh, will be toggle right I hope you don't understand this but uh, let me show you the simple way to handle the dialogues in polymer project first of all uh, as you all know we need a uh, a basic files that is the dialog.html and dialog actions.html which I have imported from Bao components right after that I have used some CSS but okay and here uh, you can see the different point that is the B D okay uh, if you see uh, if you uh, read the document of a dialog uh, paper dialogues uh, they have told the dialog is uh, working as a layered okay so whenever you want to uh, give the CSS or a styling to your dialogs you have to use the deep uh, deep element in your CSS just like that autofocus deep after that the scrolling shadow and scroller okay like that you can target your uh, dialog easily right okay now I have removed all the templates and a section binding for the first section okay here my first section starts simple I have given a title and I have a button okay with the ID BTN plain dialog okay if you see this is my simple view same as this is the first button which I have assigned the IDs and the dialog just after the my button okay and I have also assigned a ID to my dialogues right now when user clicks on this button I have to pop up this dialog right 
so then my script I have find uh, the button and uh, uh, register a click event okay and in that I have find my first dialog and uh, the dialog get toggled when I clicked on my first button like this okay now whenever I click on this button my dialogs will get initialized okay it will work every time right now uh, coming back to the other one the dialog with heading okay uh, same way okay uh, because uh, ID should be unique in document I am changing it to class okay pop-up dialog should be unique so class button right so whenever user get element by ID okay you have to specify the ID okay if you use the jQuery it becomes very easy to target the element by uh, any other uh, elements okay so in my second here I'm gonna assign the ID btn2 and my dialog ID equals second dialog okay and uh, everything will be replicated as just by changing the ptn2 second dialog now I'm clicking on this the second dialog will come up right guys as you can do uh, you can target each and every pop-up as you want okay now coming back to the next okay uh, I'm talking about some different uh, types here paper button with a dismissive that means it gives you the like this okay this is the more info that means it's a dismissive part affirmative like uh, it comes to the uh, left side because like uh, accept or cancel type okay uh, suppose I am adding a one more button with a dismissive close this I think it will take only one button at a time oops let me confirm in which we are going to change this is a B shape so we can get it properly no No. A dialogue with action. Dialogue with action. Oops, we are changing into the index page and uh, watching into the demo page. That's why it's a mistake. 
and uh, here I have to make let me open the demo file so it will clearly understood what we are going to do here I'm gonna add one more button Okay, dialogues with action. Dialogue with action. In the first section, dialogue with actions. Okay, it will get a multiple buttons, right? Okay, and uh, in the next. For the dialogues with the model pop-up, you have to assign the auto close disabled or layer is equal to false. By default, the layer is equals to true. So if you want to uh, do not, if you don't want to close the dialog automatically, then uh, you can use the auto close disabled or layer false properties. Okay. And uh, as I explained early, this is the. Uh, Polymer project uh, event handling structure. So we're going to talk about that later in my video tutorials. So right now, uh, just assigning a different different dialogues, uh, different dialogues to the Polymer projects. So now. I'm going to talk about the animation. Okay, transition how we can uh, assign the transitions to our uh, dialogues. It's a very simple. Okay, uh, here the transition is assigned dynamically, right? It's a co transition center, top, bottom, left, and right. Okay, if you want to do it manually, so you can also do that by assigning a transition. Attribute to your dialogue. Okay, let me show you Transition equals to I'm gonna assign this from the center. Sorry. I'm gonna Take it from top No bottom So it will look like animating Okay now in my index page, uh, in my first plain dialog, right? It's working nicely. And for the CSS and colors, uh, it's up to you guys. You have to assign the uh, what you can say the CSS and class size like uh, here. If you want to set your dialog at a fixed position, then just create a class size it okay and uh, just make it fixed position right i hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial uh, of a polymer project uh, to manage the dialogues in mobile applications as well as the web applications for uh, more details you can visit my video tutorial channel that is youtube slash web boostings or also you can go on my uh, website that is infologs.in where you can get all the videos at one place for free so don't forget to watch my next video tutorials on polymer till then bye bye and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye